Hi, I'm Karen Molander. I'm an emergency medicine physician practicing in the Bay Area and also a volunteer for the Sepsis Alliance and will be the uh, board chair beginning in April. And I was asked by some of the folks at Sepsis Alliance to review a little bit about what is going on with COVID-19. Uh, what is the novel coronavirus, COVID-19? And to explain a little bit about that, coronaviruses are a family of virus that currently exist and typically cause mild symptoms. For example, there are some forms that can cause a common cold. Uh, COVID-19 is a type of virus that's commonly found in animals, bats and another type of animal called a pangolin, uh, that was newly discovered to be transmitted to humans in China late last year, and thus the name COVID-19. Now, is COVID-19 deadly? Yes and no. Interestingly, there have been no deaths so far in children under age 10. They appeared to get much more mild symptoms that resemble a cold with a fever. However, the highest death rate in the patients in China appeared in patients over age 80, and that death rate was almost 15%. Now, does the coronavirus cause sepsis? Yes, it can. It doesn't always, but it can. And again, sepsis is our overreaction to an infection. Uh, other things that can cause sepsis include influenza, another viral infection. Bacterial pneumonia can cause sepsis, and so can urinary tract infections. Now, a lot of people out there are asking, are my kids at risk? Again, yes and no. So your kids are at risk of getting the infection, and they're likely to get a runny nose, a cough, but they are highly, highly unlikely to die. Again, in the data that we're seeing from China, there have been no deaths under age 10. Another question that we've had sent to us at Sepsis Alliance is, if you've had sepsis recently, are you at higher risk for COVID-19? And we don't have the data on that. Uh, we don't know. We do know that if you have chronic medical conditions, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney disease, lung disease, your risk of infection or severity of infection may be higher. Uh, for example, cancer patients had a 3.5 times higher risk of requiring a ventilator than those that did not have cancer. Again, this is out of the Chinese data. So as this story is evolving and we're seeing more cases, we'll get a much better understanding of how it's affecting others. Now, people ask, how can I help protect my family and myself against COVID-19? Number one, get enough sleep. Number two, eat well. Number three, do not smoke or vape. Number four, wash your hands frequently and for at least 20 to 40 seconds. Sing the ABC song, make sure you get between the fingers, make sure you get both sides of the hands, go up to the wrist. So we wanna minimize handshaking, high five, cheek kissing, all different uh, common greetings that we have. Um, and please don't touch your face, wash the surfaces of your house, your workplace to protect everyone. Now, another question we've had is, will antibiotics work on COVID-19? No, antibiotics are for bacterial infections. They will not help for COVID-19. COVID-19 is a virus. Now they are currently looking at many possible treatments for the virus, including medications commonly used for HIV and malaria. But as of right now, there are no formal recommendations. Now, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to email uh, us at the Sepsis Alliance and we will do our best to answer any questions that you might have. But please consider consulting the CDC website. It's got a myriad of wonderful suggestions, including showing uh, very nice videos on the optimal way to wash your hands. Uh, thanks so much for your time.